Hello, I'm Rachel Mann. I've been asked to share a few personal thoughts on what Lent means to me. Well, I think once we get past the, the obvious, which is to do with giving things up or taking things on, well, for me, at the heart of Lent is, is a commitment to rediscover relationship, to take time to meet others in their otherness, to be prepared to allow others to meet oneself in one's own otherness. It means taking risks. It means taking time to reflect together, to share together, sometimes to break bread together. And sometimes that breaking bread happens across a table with the potential for things to go really quite badly wrong. So that's at the heart of Lent for me is relationship, is time, is reflection, and going back to the simple things about being a human being. In terms of giving things up, oh my goodness, um, well, uh, it's tempting, isn't it, to say things like chocolate and, and, and wine and alcohol. But I think one of the things that I'd be delighted if we could all give up is to use that modern phrase, throwing shade at each other. It's so easy, particularly in this internet age, to act as if other people aren't people at all and therefore treat them as, as objects. And goodness me, I, I for one, as someone who sometimes had, should we say a little bit of shade thrown at me, I could do with a little bit less of that, but I'd also be delighted if I could find a way not to react out to my instinct for revenge and violence, my desire to strike back at those who've hurt me but recognise their full humanity. Well, what does hope look like? Well, in some ways, I suppose I've already answered that, I think. Hope surely entails a willingness and an openness to otherness as a place of celebration, as a place of possibility, as a place of discovering more about each other and, for me, about who God is. And in that, I think that we are reformed into something richer, greater. We begin to discover not just our, our common humanity, but our common divinity. And that, ultimately, when we commit to it fully, is an encounter with love, the love that I think is at the heart of the universe.